Back again, everyone. This is Computer Science uh, 0478 IGCSE, the pre release material pseudocode solution of uh, paper 21, October, November, the coming session, October, November 2020. Um, in this first video here of the playlist, I'm going to uh, give the, an, an introduction to the material and also the logic behind the solution, and then on the next uh, video of the series. I'm going to give one of the suggested solutions for the task one pseudocode solution Okay, as some of you already know that we have in computer science. We have two papers paper one which is focusing on uh, uh, Or examining your uh, theoretical understanding for the first section of the course and we have also paper two which examines your problem solving and program skills. Uh, paper one is out of 75, and paper two is out of 50. Uh, paper two is divided into two sections, section A, which is 20 out of 50 marks, and then section B is 30 out of 50 marks. Our main concern here is uh, section A, which is 20 out of 50 marks. You are going to receive some questions on the uh, pre-release material that uh, already uh, released by uh, Cambridge. And the main concern also for this section A, the questions are going to examine, uh, are going to examine your uh, uh, main skills. For example, here you uh, already gained uh, some skills in uh, what are the variables and how to use them and also how to assign a value to a variable. Uh, also, you must have the ability uh, to create uh, or to use the if conditions and uh, case also. Uh, also other uh, loop structures that you have learned that like uh, repeat until, do while, uh, for to next loops and also the the basic uh, understanding of uh, totaling how to total or to add a value to uh, the total uh, this is going to be uh, for example here like total equals total plus x x is a new value uh, so it would be added to the previous value here of the total and also uh, how to create a counter and how to use them uh, for example how to use a counter inside uh, a loop or uh, how to uh, create create an array and how to use them. Uh, as you know that the name for uh, the name for paper two is problem solving and programming, and uh, our paper today is two one zero four seven eight October November two thousand twenty. Let's uh, discuss the uh, in general here the the main task, the main problems that we need to. Uh, solve uh, this paper. This section here is talking about that the car insurance system allows a customer uh, allows uh, customers to check how much it would cost to buy insurance. So it's talking about insurance here for a car uh, for 12 months for a year. The starting price of the insurance is $500. So the insurance must start with basic uh, basic uh, insurance. Uh, cost of $500 and then the actual price later on of a customer pays for the car insurance insurance changes depending upon the information provided here engine size value of a car where car is kept overnight number of kilometers and age of driver uh, user uh, years insured without an insurance claim and all the data are available here in table one and then the years without claim are available in table two so you have two tables here, table one and table two, and uh, the main or the general requirements here, before we go deeper in the tasks, the, uh, the, we have three points here we need to uh, accomplish. The first point here is finding the total of the percentage changes for the customer using table one. So you have table one here, we need to find the total percentage. The total percentage is simply is the submission or adding up all the values depending on some uh, 
uh, values here, like the engine size in liters. Let's say, for example, if the engine size is between 1 and 2.5, so the total percentage here will be 5%. And then also, if the value of a car is uh, between 2 and uh, 10,000, so the percentage change will be 5% also here. And if the car is uh, kept in a garage, for example, here, the percentage will be negative 5. And then if the car driven, uh, for example, uh, in a year less than 5,000, also the percentage change will be negative 5. And if the age of the uh, driver between 21 and 25, so the percentage change will be plus 50 as shown here in table 1. Okay, so the total here will be 5 plus 5, it's 10, and then negative 10 also. So the total percentage change here is 50. So this is the first point, finding the total percentage changes for the customer using table 1. And then the uh, requirement, number, requirement number 2, applying this total percentage change to the starting price of the car. What is the starting price of the car? It was 500, right? As shown here on top. So we will apply 50%, okay, to the total, uh, to the uh, uh, basic uh, price of the uh, insurance. So we will deduct like 50% here. So 50 uh, times 550 over 100. Okay. So simply this is going to be $250, right? So the insurance price will be 250. It could be more than this, could be less than this, depending on the uh, criteria or the inputs given here in table one. Uh, point number three here, we are talking about applying the years without claim discount percentage for the customer using table, table two. Okay, so also here, if the uh, no claim, we will apply negative 10% to this value. If it's two years without a claim, we will apply negative 20% uh, and less than this price and so on and so forth. Until more than six years, we will apply maximum negative 70%. You need to be careful with your solution here that every pre-lease material comes with the, these uh, must do points your program or uh, programs must include appropriate prompt prompt mean here you are asking the user you are showing a message to the user let's say for example please input uh, the engine size okay so if if you didn't uh, show this in your solution, uh, definitely you will you will be deducted. Uh, for example, one mark. Okay, and also data must be validated on entry. Let's say, for example, you are uh, the values between zero and uh, ten. Okay, so if the user inputs like for example negative one or he inputs eleven more than ten or less than zero, so this value should be rejected. Okay. Your program also should include these kind of things. Error messages and other output needs to be uh, clearly and uh, uh, should be understandable. Yeah, and everyone should be able to understand this by uh, showing an error message. For example, if he inputs negative one, you should show that this value is not accepted. These are error messages. All variables, constants, and other identifiers must have meaningful names. Meaningful names here means that, for example, if you have a variable here to store the engine size, the, uh, the variable should be like this. Engine size. One word without a space. Be careful. One word without a space. And it should be meaningful. Okay, for example, you shouldn't say it like this uh, variable name should be y or x or whatever these are 
not acceptable uh, value, uh, variable names and you will be deducted also with a negative one point. Uh, this is the, um, the main uh, introduction here for uh, the previous material and you have three tasks. We will go through the, the first task, uh, task one on the next video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, so when I upload the task one solution you will be notified uh, as soon as I upload them. Thank you.